let me show you how to append the daily weather report to your daily note. For this walkthrough, I'm going to be using Reflect as my note-taking app. You can download a free trial at reflect.app, and I'm going to be connecting the weather report using Zapier. So let's start by going over to Zapier and creating a Zap. For our trigger, we will be using Zapier, the own weather program. And for the event, we're going to say today's forecast. And here you're going to have to look up your latitude and longitude. So if you're like me and you don't know it, you can click on their link there and you can type it in any place. So I'm going to say Longmont, Colorado, where I live. And there we go. You can just copy and paste these over. So I'll take the latitude and the longitude. And I'm in the US, so I'll leave it in Fahrenheit there. And now let's give that a test. Perfect. Found the weather report. Uh, so let's go down and set up the action. So we're going to choose reflect as the note taking app here. And event, I'm going to have it append to my daily note because I just want it to appear with the rest of my daily note. And I will choose my account here, my main one. All right, now for the action. This is where you can get a little bit creative. So whatever text you put here with the input variables is what's going to show up in your daily note. So I'm going to have it be labeled to today's weather report. And then I'm going to have it start with the summary. And maybe I'll put a comma there and then put it. Actually, I'll put a period and then I'll say temp. And I will put in the temperature max there with another period. And then I will say chance of per se. Those doesn't use any labels. And then I'll put the percentage sign on there. Actually, maybe for max temp, I'll say degrees Fahrenheit, just so that I know. So you could make this whatever you want. This is just how I think it's going to maybe give me the cleanest report. And I don't think I'm going to include any other metrics. We'll just say I really only care about the summary and the weight rain report. So you can choose whatever variables you want to in there. I'm going to stick with that. Uh, the date you can leave blank, the list name you can leave blank, leave the transform type as list append, and just input your graph ID. Ignore all of the variables there. You can just manually put in your graph ID. All right, let's give it a test, see if it works. And it appears to. Perfect, there you go. Uh, so it's today on my daily note, today's weather report, isolated thunderstorms, and late afternoon clouds, and it will be mild. The max temperature, 71.42 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh, spelled degrees wrong. And chance of precipitation, 38%. So now that I see it in my note here, I can see a couple things that I want to change. Uh, for one, my putting a period in between each one didn't actually end up looking that good because it uses period in the summary. And I have a couple spelling errors here. So now I can go back over here and just go ahead and fix those in here. So um, degrees, I can fix the spelling error. And instead of periods, maybe I want to put in, um, let's try vertical lines and see how that works. Yeah, let's give that a try. And you can kind of just go down here and retest it. You can keep testing it as many times as you want. And yeah, that looks a lot better to me. So let's say that I'm happy with that and I'll go ahead and publish. And it'll turn it on while I do it. So now every day when I come to my notes in my daily note, I will just have my weather report waiting for me.